सो लेट एस टॉक अबाउट डी कॉन्वोल्यूशन नाउ डी कॉन्वोल्यूशन वी एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस मॉडल ऑफ डिग्रेडेशन एंड द रिस्टोरेशन प्रोसेस लेट मी रिकॉल इट अगेन दैट द गोल इज टू रिस्टोर और रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट द ओरिजिनल इमेज दैट हैज बीन डिग्रेडेड बाय कन्वॉल्विंग विद अ डिग्रेडेशन फंक्शन एच एक्स वाई दिस वॉज अवर ओरिजिनल इमेज दिस इज द डिग्रेडेशन फंक्शन and then we have this additive noise then finally gxy is the degraded image so this is the process of restoration we apply restoration filters so that we can get this f hat xy or we can restore the image so the degradation process like is like that gxy is equal to hxy plus uh, sorry this is convolution fxy plus eta xy and frequency domain if we convert all these this is for ya uh, this for ya domain convert conversion so we get these and this convolution in uh, this frequency domain is equal to multiplication in uh, spatial domain and vice versa so this is our expression of uh, image or uh, model of image degradation now now the today is a uh, discussion is about uh, deconvolving or undo the effect of this convolution right this convolution need to be uh, undone so we introduce this uh, minimum mean uh, square error or wiener filtering so what we want we want to find an estimate of the image to minimize the mean squared error between the original image and restored image so the uh, least this difference is uh, the good our uh, process will be so this will be the minimum mean square error and this is given by f minus f hat whole square expectation of this so this is given by 1 by mn sigma uh, the summation of uh, from uh, you know row wise and this row and column wise f x y minus f hat has f hat x y whole square this is the expected value now this is the winner filter this f hat uv is given by this h by h mod of h this is h, this h star is conjugate of h this is s eta uv by s f uv and multiplied by g uv now this is uh, given by uh, this h uv square By one H V U V and this square plus eta, this is uh, different. This part is different, and this part is different. Okay, this is just uh, multiplication of one by H V, and this is the expression of our uh, minimum error solution of Wiener filtering. In this, this S eta is nothing but uh, the power spectrum of the noise, and this S F U V is the power spectrum of the un uh, degraded image. so this is the expression finally we are going to see now when noise is small compared to the signal right that is the frequencies uh, where this s eta is sufficiently less than s f the wiener filter it actually reduces to inverse filter only f f hat uv will uh, just this will be you know cancelled so it will be only this uv uv by h uv right so this uh, becomes uh, inverse filter if uh, s eta is sufficiently less than sf the power spectrum actually and uh, at frequencies uv where noise power is larger with respect to signal power uh, the inverse case of this the result actually becomes zero so f hat uv will be zero so that's why we have this uh, sketch derivation of uh, wiener filter so what we want to do we want to produce an estimate of original signal that minimizes this uh, mean uh, square error this we introduced already so this is actually uh, similar to minimizing the error in the frequency domain let's take this to the frequency domain this is uh, percival's theorem and this is given by 1 by mn expectation of f minus f at whole square in frequency domain so what we need we need to find a filter this wuv that 
uh, actually minimizes the error so the so that we can apply it on this degraded uh, image uh, we, uh, that is the corrupted signal and we can get this f hat uv so let us uh, uh, you know just uh, relieve us from this uv and concentrate on this f w g for uh, ease of simplification so this f hat is given by w g and let us uh, recall that g was nothing but h f plus n as we have already uh, discussed so this will become like this that this is the reconstructed signal and when we assume this f minus f hat this will nothing but uh, this will be uh, 1 minus w h f if you rearrange it and uh, this will uh, remain as w n so the error between the original and reconstructed now e square as we have just seen uh, the mean square error we try to replace this value here and we see multiplying out and using the assumption that f n are un uncorrelated uh, actually the um, the image and the noise they are actually uncorrelated that is why we can just uh, use this value and the error is minimized if each term at each uv is minimum so this is given by uh, del e square means, means taking a partial derivative of this e square with respect to w and uh, this uh, partial derivative will give us zero because we assume that this uh, delta del z was of z z conjugate will be 2z conjugate so what we get is this w star from or w conjugate from this expression is h f square by h square f square plus n square and uh, this w is given by uh, this h star and h square plus n square by f square so this is the wiener filter in the frequency domain right so the problem is with wiener filtering is we may not know this s eta this is eta s eta and s f in advance so how to model it usually we assume that the void noise uh, this s eta is given by this uh, um, particular value which is a constant however we don't usually know the spectrum of the undegraded uh, image like this so instead we can approximate using some k some constant k and try different values so this f hat uv will be given by 1 by h u v h u v square by h u v square plus k so and this will remain like this so this k is the average noise to signal ratio assume this is a fourier transform of the original uh, ungraded uh, degraded signal fu we want to you know reassume it but uh, this is uh, the fourier transform of the degraded function hu uh, maybe it's, it's it's looking similar to the gaussian uh, way and the, we degrade the input signal with the noise or add noise this is our degraded signal and this is the noise we have added so what it will become this will be become something like this this was our original expression and uh, now we uh, try to uh, get it back means we apply inverse filter one by h and this winner filter w we if we apply we see that we get these values though it is not good here but still we get these values so what we get we get the tra this transform of the reconstructed signal as wu by gu which is uh, reconstructed and this is looking similar to what we have started this is uh, you know quite good so let us take an example of with figure this 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 is comparison of inverse and winner filtering this is a result of full inverse filtering and this is uh, you see uh, readily limited inverse filter and this is the winner filter result see these two areas winner filter actually gives a better result in this case and this is again if, uh, if we choose k so if uh, this noise is high uh, our reconstruction will, will be like this and if uh, this uh, noise is less we can get a very good image now how to estimate this k we can estimate k by making some assumptions like k is the average noise power divided by the average signal power as we know it so we can assume noise which is uniformly distributed or gaussian and estimate its power 
so let us assume that the average signal power of uh, the degraded image is about the same as that of the original image like this so k is the estimated average uh, noise to signal ratio a rough estimate is if noise is uh, of this uh, gray level plus minus 1 and the image is from 0 to 255 then k is roughly 10 to the power minus 4 this is very important please understand it this is uh, nearly 10 to the power minus 4 and for images with some additional quantization noise uh, this for example uh, jpeg compression this might be, might be closer to 10 to the power minus 3 so these are the functions uh, available in matlab for deconvolution deconvolution wrr for winner and uh, this uh, does straight for uh, straight forward inverse filter and this assumes degraded function hy sxy is known while this uh, decon uh, WNR GHK does winner inverse filter with constant K noise to signal ratio and this one GH and core F core it uses uh, known autocorrelation function for noise and original image F core where this uh, N core and F core is given by Fourier inverse of this val these values. So the winner filter is a good way to restore images that have been degraded by some uh, known degradation function and as usual we assume that uh, the degradation process is linear and uh, position invariant followed by relative noise and the Wiener filter produces a result that has uh, the minimum mean squared error between the restored image and the original image and motion blur is also an example of uh, this kind of degradation process. So thank you so much. Take care of yourself.